And we're back. We have a real interesting debate for you today. Uh, now, I told you at the beginning of the show this was going to be a real tough discussion. In light of the situation with the Octomom and uh, unwanted teenage preg pregnancies, not to mention 13% of the nation living in poverty with about half of those children, the question has come to light. Should a woman be licensed to be a mother? We have Miriam Paul, who believes that a woman should be licensed. And we have Nsinga, who's on the opposite side. Ladies? Say I don't have a last name. I'm sorry, Nsinga Matthew. Okay. okay. They're going to tell us their thoughts about that. Ladies, have fun. Okay. So you go, you go ahead first, Mary. Well, know. my take is you need a license to do everything else. You need a license to drive. You need a license to get married. You have to be of legal age to smoke and drink. But yet anyone can just decide to procreate and have children. You know, whether they're, you have people on drugs that are having children. I recently um, saw a show where this woman had this little girl who was close to seven. And the little girl was neglected all her life. By the time she was discovered and the police took her out, she had the brain function of a six-month-old. And this little girl was going on seven. She was in total neglect. I mean, they found her with um, a diaper on full of feces. She had bug bites. She had all kinds of bugs in her hair. So that's why I think, you know, you, need, you should really need a license to have a child. Too many people are just out there just having children and it's okay, but then you need a license to do everything else. Um, well, I have no problem with discussing uh, parenting skills or people, parenting skills or lack thereof. Um, it's tragic when people decide to become parents and they're really not suited to it. And you're talking about an extreme case there, but there are many, many examples, as we all know, which are not extreme, but still tragic enough that parents obviously shouldn't have made that decision. Um, however, with the other examples you used for people who have to get licenses to do things, um, those are not necessarily sort of biologically driven examples. They're examples of things that are more, let's say, you know, things that people would decide to do um, thoughtfully, let's say, but having children in a way is something that is not something that people always uh, think about necessarily. It's something that people do, I would think, I would say partly from instinct and partly from um, just sort of biological imperative. And so it's difficult to put that in the same context as getting a license to you know, I don't, I don't even, I can't remember the examples that all were, but like driving a car or something like that. You know, you could sit down and you think, I really need a car, and you drive a car, but that's not the same thing as, as the sexual instinct. It's not the same thing as the instinct to, uh, to procreate. And the other thing I would say is that um, once you try to get into the zone of controlling people's bodies, uh, it's one thing to, uh, to try to regulate. Um, certain activities that uh, have effect on the greater good or on the greater public. But once you start to get into the regulation of people's uh, ownerships of their own bodies, then um, I think that it becomes a very sticky wicket. It becomes very difficult to justify why you do it in one case, why you don't do it in another case, who gets the license, why do they get the license, why does the next person not get the license. Um, I'm a very, very strong believer in not just women, but people in general, being able to have control of uh, their own physical bodies and what they're, what they're able and allowed to do with it, even though it is sometimes harmful, um, with the limitation of um, when you might get into a, let's say, an epidemic of people doing things to themselves that then uh, cascade into harmful activities to others. So um, I think it's very, very difficult and you have to be very careful about trying to somehow regulate through government uh, licenses or laws about telling people what they can't and can't do um, with themselves. Well, there's a lot of 
things they tell people when they can and can't do it. I mean, they tell people that they can't drink until they're 21, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, you know, they're, they're underage, but it's still telling people what to do with their bodies. I mean, you have a lot of people that are out there having children, and then they can't take care of those kids, and those kids end up, you know, the system has to take care of them anyway. You have a lot of those situations where there are a lot of kids that are neglected. So I think there should be some type of criteria before, you know, anyone, I think it should be illegal, honestly, for you to decide to have a kid when you can't take care of it. You have this octomom thing, and she has all these children, and it's like, how are you going to take care of these children? I think there should be some type of regulation. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's controlling people's bodies. I don't think it's, it's anything like that. I think it's, look, if you want to have children, you have to be able to take care of them. If you want to have children, you can't be on drugs. If you want to have children, just like, I mean, that's the most precious thing, having a child. So 